I'm gonna be showing you how you can add motion track lyrics to your music videos just like this. Back in 2010, I went to school with a desert eagle. We're gonna be doing this super simply inside of After Effects. And make sure you guys follow along to the very end because there's some secret sauce for tracking inside of this. Inside of After Effects here, we have this clip from a Lil Durk music video. We're gonna go ahead and play it through. So first, we're going to start off by creating our track. Now, if we right click on our clip, go down to track and stabilize, we're going to hit track camera. 3D camera tracker is going to pop up here and you want to open up the advanced tab. Once it's done tracking, you guys can see we have an analysis solve failed. Now, a lot of people at this point would just give up and try tracking a completely different clip, but I'm going to show you guys some sauce. We're going to delete the 3D camera tracker from this. We're going to go into effects and presets. We're going to drag and drop glumetric color on. We're going to drag and drop unsharp mask on as well. Now, going into basic correction here, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the contrast all the way down we're going to turn the exposure up a little bit just like so and then going into unsharp mask we're going to turn up the radius and the amount till we have something like this now that looks pretty terrible right now but trust me guys it's going to look good once it's finished now we're going to right click on our clip go over to pre-compose and we're going to make sure we have these two checked and then we're going to hit okay now we're going to try right clicking going over to track and stabilize and tracking the camera now, what we did was we basically made the image more bright and textured so the track has more things to grab onto. Super quick, before we hop into this video, I'm offering a buy one, get one free Christmas sale. So every single editing pack on our website is buy one, get one free. And you guys can do this up to an unlimited amount of times. So you add three editing packs to your cart and then add three more. Three of those are going to be completely free. Alongside this offer, we also have an all-in-one bundle. So if you've been looking at grabbing all of our editing packs, you can get them all in one at a crazy discounted price. Some of our best editing packs are fast mood effects that allows you to add drag and drop hits, shakes, and transitions to your videos super easily. Our LUT pack that contains over 200 50 plus unique LUTs and so many more effects like drag and drop 3D, slow shutter effects, Polaroid transitions, and a ton more. If you guys want to check this out, it's all on my website, tinytapes.ca. It's linked below. But let's hop right back into this. And boom, as you guys can see, we have a track just like that. The points might be a little bit hard to see, but if I turn up the track point size, you guys can see it looks just like this. Now we're going to go and create a camera. And the camera will be right here. Now we're going to create the text for our lyrics. So he starts off by saying back in 2010. So I'm going to hit new, go down to text, and I'm going to type back. I'm going to hit control A. And I'm going to go over and change the fill to a nice red color there. And we're going to do this for each one. All right, guys. Now, once we have all of our text in here, as you guys can see down here, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have these 3D cubes here. You don't see that toggle your switches and modes we're going to turn all of them on and make sure the camera track is above all of them now as you guys can see our text is tracked to the scene what we're going to do next to make it look good is we're going to go back into this comp here by double clicking on it we're going to click on our video clip we're going to hit Control c go over to our linked comp and we're going to paste this back in we're going to delete our lumetri color and our unsharp mask from it as you guys can see, we're getting the track information for the text from this clip right here that has the brightness and the sharpness turned up. And then just above that, we have our original clip that we're going to be rendering the text to. Now we're going to go up and click on our hand tool and we're going to start organizing our text in the way we want it to go through. So you just want to listen to the song and make it come in at certain points. So we can start off with back. He says in about right here. 2010 is around there. I went can go right here and you guys get the point. I'm just going to do this off camera. You guys can see we have our text coming in just like that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to move it around and get it to our liking. Now pressing S on our keyboard here, we're going to bring down the scale. I'm going to put back right there. Let's move in to in. Let's put that right there. Now going over to 2010, we hit our scale. Let's put that right there. But I went. I think we could move these over a little bit more just so they're not touching Dirk. The school. We can move with A right here. And then for Desert Eagle, of course, we want this to be big. We'll put Desert right here. And we'll put Eagle 
right here like that and then we could shift these through and remember just go through play it a couple times tweak it to your liking that looks pretty cool there guys i think this side could be moved a little bit over remember to tweak it to your liking now what you can do as well is have them disappear over time so just by moving the right side of them to end and get a look like this and by moving them more so to the right you can make that a lot faster Now, some tips that I recommend you guys do on your text here is if we go over and type up blur, we can put on directional blur and we can make the blur length start around 150. You guys get to see here at a keyframe and let's move one frame, bring that down to zero. We're going to get that blur in transition. Maybe we can even do two frames. And then hitting control C, we can paste this towards the end and we could flip the keyframes just like this. And I recommend highlighting these, hitting F9, and turn on easy ease. And now what we're going to do is we're going to copy these, go on to our new layers, hit control V, hit U and then resize them to fit on our new text now make sure you're not putting the last keyframe at the very end or it's not going to have that effect and i'm just going to go ahead and do this and now since these ones don't have an end we're not going to add it but we're just going to add the intro here including these last two and bringing the, the beginning. If we play that through guys, we'll have a look just like this. Now what we can do as well is add motion blur to them by turning all of these ones on here. And I highly recommend that you guys play around with the fonts you use. You can even make each text a different color, a different color, a different, a different color, a different font. It's up to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and make it look a little bit cleaner by adding a Gaussian blur to each of them. Add a blurred look just like that. And then I'm going to add some noise as well. Turn off color noise. We're going to turn that up and put it above everything. And we're gonna turn that up. We're gonna look like that. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna select both of them. Hit Control C. And then we're gonna to go to each one and paste them on. I hit just by just hitting Control V. And I think that looks pretty fire there, guys. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I recommend checking out this video right here. And make sure you guys subscribe and like as well to see more content just like this. My goal is to help you guys level up your edits and do this as a full-time job. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.